Boo! Did that scare you? Well, happy Halloween, guys. Last video, I said I had a special story planned just for Halloween. So I'm going to be reading this. It looks so long. And I don't know if it's real or not. That's what, that's what I said that yesterday. So, yeah. And I changed my Reddit to dark mode for Halloween. So, yep. Um, is this like real? Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry for that long pause. So, okay. So, he was 10. He was 10 when the government separated him from his parents. I don't know why that still happens. Like, why does that still happen, bro? Like, haven't we grown past that? They made him. They literally made him. Like, oh my god. The masked man threw him into a room. The bedroom, kitchen, and living room. If you can even call it that. They were were combined in they were combined into one place the the bathroom was the only room that had its own area there was a door the only men in in us what the, the oh the only men the only that there was a door that only men in uniforms were entered though when they left they would lock it the only entertainment they gave us were books. Lots of books. That, that, that they got were lots of books, okay? They were mainly about government and history. But there were some that were fiction. They also provided a pamphlet, whatever that says, about the building and its history. Apparently, a guy named Jason Wilson... Bro, this is getting juicy. Getting juicy, guys. Oh, my God. I, I like this. I like this. I like it. I like it. Okay. Made this place. He created it. If that any national emergency took place, you could hide. He, he, looked, he looked back at life. No, the guy looked back at life before he was trapped there. There wasn't anything that posed a threat. He thinks, he thinks. But he lived in that room for five years. So the past is a blip. That's what he said. Not my words. Okay, bro, this... I, I, I'm not needed to make all those clips. Okay. He studied that building, building for years, trying to find an escape. Yeah, like, if they were giving me food, I want to escape. But you didn't specify that. So, yeah, I can't wait. I'm going back to my old neighborhood. I haven't seen the people in my old neighborhood for a while now. Like, oh, my God. J-Man Curly, he posted a video. Oh, my God. I just got that notification. I'll watch it later. Like, oh, my God. Okay, but... They all came to a dead end, except for one, except for one, bro. This guy sucks at spelling. There was a vent above the fridge. Maybe the vent would lead him to the outside world. He put intense thought to this idea before trying. On the day of his escape, when the men left his room and locked the door, he climbed to the top of the fridge and pried the door open. He shimmy, shimmied his way through the narrow path, his body touching all four sides of the rectangle. He started to lose hope until he saw a light ahead of him. He raced to the other vent where the light was coming from and quietly opened the door of the vent. He crawled, crawled into a bush that was in the front of the vent. A, what? A bush? A bush? What? what? I don't know. He put the door vent back. The, the door, the vent back. 
together before checking the area. The large property of many structures lined up in a row. He did find it strange that there are no guards in front of any of the buildings, but there could have there could have been cameras. Either way, he tried to he tried to make himself as small as possible. After a few minutes later of crawling, he found an entrance to the outside world. The gate was wide open. It's as if the gate. Knew his intentions and agreed with them.、Uh, he remember, he remembers reading in the pamphlet that if you were able to escape, they'll find you, but won't kill you. The the, the he said the when he said they. I I hate this spelling English. They knew you would see the horse that lied within the field, the breath being sucked from the person's body. So he didn't run into the arid field, but stared in horror at the sight. There were bodies that laid in a puddle of their blood. Their eyes would would stare wide open. Their fear never left them. Other bodies were decaying, letting you see the brown skulls. But he saw something that made his blood boil. There were the Renlin neck, the Renlin little necklace. This meant that they were from Wenlies. I don't know what that says. He remembers when they were on the news, for wanting their land back. He didn't know what they meant by wanting their land back, but now he he does. He says he okay. I get. I get that. Okay, yeah. Hold up. Hold up. Give me one sec, guys. I need to find my words. But now he does. Some had gunshots that were through their heads, and others had stab wounds. F- flies swam around the field as he continued forward. I might have to add another clip, guys. Um. Yeah, I might have to pause it to add a clip. I don't know. Um, I just need to hurry this up. Okay. As he continued forward, and he found more bodies, his heart continued to sink into his stomach. For each lifeless body he saw, he didn't know what to do. He heard gunshots in the distance and ran for his life. He raced into a dark cave and hid there, hidden there. He had the smell of fresh rain air, but it also had an aroma of dread. That filled the room. The cave was large, but the further you went in, the narrower it became. He decided this would be a good place to hide. Okay, I like this story.、Um, well, obviously,、uh, th- this story is a lot. Oh, there's only two more paragraphs. Let's go. He's been in there for. He's been in here for ten years now. He's been in there for ten years now. He's been surviving off the animals that sometimes come in. He kill he kills them with his bare hands or sharp object like a rock. If the men went outside, then he would grab a cactus with his bare hands and drink it and drink what's in. As a result of this, blood covers the stone floor, and the smell of cold cases filled the room. A heavy blood that I meant over him consumes the air, making it hard to breathe. But he's grown, he's grown used to it. Sorry, I am really bad at these personal narratives that says them because I know I, I write them, but it's hard to read them for you guys. So you guys don't think I've experienced this. Okay. Okay. Uh. Sometimes he sees the men in the universe pacing outside the cave, but he knew if he came out, 
he will be beaten. They would beat him with whatever they had, a book, a bat, maybe a metal rod. He will die a slow, painful death, just like the people outside. They were trying to protect their families. All I do for entertainment is write this letter for anyone who reads it. The innocent people of Wellies don't deserve this. They've started the war. They took their land and they wanted it back. They were willing to fight for it and they choose to hide it by putting us in homes to hide their actions. While man and woman died to save their country, he will forever stand with them. Sincerely, Laura Boyle. Damn. I, 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 I'm, I'm shocked. I don't, I don't know what to say. Like, oh my god. Uh, I'm reading some of these comments. Constructive criticism. Details. 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 Like how how could you possibly survive in a cave for 10 years? Food, water. What did it look like and smell like? Keep writing. It had the m m makings of a good story. Okay, I'm just gonna put what I thought. That's cool. I'm reading this on YT sub to one. Okay, what else I have to say? I I like the story. Needs part two. And is when Just asking sin silly one shot. Nice, okay. That's it for today. I'm covering a con a topic I really like in tomorrow's video. Subscribe for more story times videos. Goodbye.